So how did the Nile River of Egypt go from being a breadbasket in the classical era to uh, what it is today? Well, that is a really big question, but allow me to explain a little bit. For essentially its entire history, Egypt has been a massive producer of agricultural goods. So much so that for empires, like in the case of the Romans, they specifically relied on Egypt in order to provide the grain that they needed in order to sustain larger cities. When the Byzantine Empire lost control of Egypt, this is one of the big contributing factors as to why so many of its cities shrank afterwards. It just couldn't sustain the armies or populations afterwards. The same breadbasket capabilities would apply to pretty much every single empire that would control it for the remainder of its history, right up until the modern era where it's starting to see some serious problems. You see, the majority of people live and agricultural goods are produced here around the Nile Delta area. An area which is gradually being eroded as water levels in the Mediterranean rise and the area becomes more and more salty. It's crazy to think considering history, but the agricultural capabilities of this area is expected to drastically drop over the course of the next several decades. And by 2100, who knows?